Choosing Hugh was uncomfortable. Choosing Hugh wasn't that uncomfortable, but controlling saturation and brightness was really tough. If you move S and B by only 1%, you had to adjust the very delicate bar or enter the numbers yourself. Inputting a number is a break in the workflow. These arrows allow us to adjust saturation and brightness intuitively and delicately. You can think of S and B as joysticks that move around. From now on, we will learn how to adjust colors conveniently using SB and the arrows. First, let's look at the usage of each button. S means saturation. B means brightness. A means alpha. The arrows are used to adjust saturation and brightness for the SB tool. While for the alpha tool, it adjusts transparency. The numbers 1, 3, and 5 are the amount of adjustment for both tools. Now, let's actually use SB and A tools. To access the SB and A tools, let's bring up the Pi HUD extension. Here is the SB tool, and we can see the arrow and number buttons. And here is the alpha tool with the same set of numbers, but with only two arrows. Now, let me show you how to use each of those buttons. Let's make a shape first. The arrows reflect the cursor in the color panel, so let's put it in the middle, so we can better see how it moves. While I click each button, observe how the cursor in the color panel moves. If you get this dialog box, it means you need to save the file first. So let's do that. Let's set the amount of adjustment to 5 first. If I click this arrow pointing at the upper left, notice how the cursor in the color panel moves. The cursor moves in the same direction as the arrow. This direction decreases the saturation and increases the brightness by 5. Now, the upwards arrow moves the cursor upwards as well. This direction increases the brightness by 5. Next is the arrow pointing at the top right. It increases the saturation and increases the brightness by 5. Again, the cursor moved in the same direction as the arrow. So basically, the direction of the arrow indicates how the cursor moves in the color panel. The right arrow increases saturation by 5. The bottom right arrow increases saturation and decreases brightness by 5. The bottom arrow decreases brightness by 5. The bottom left arrow decreases saturation and decreases brightness by 5. And the left arrow decreases saturation by 5. Now, let's try the other amounts. The arrows do the same but it only adjusts S and B depending on the amount. Until now, the arrow buttons only affect the color panel or picker. To use the SB tool to affect the shape directly, 
we need to select the shape first. And then click on the SB button. If the button is darkened, it means the adjustments will be applied directly to the shape. We can use the SB tool to adjust the S and B precisely. Now, let's move on to the Alpha tool. A tool adjusts the transparency based on the amount selected. Observe how the Alpha value changes here. The left arrow decreases the Alpha value. The right arrow increases the alpha value. Like the SB tool, a tool can also be used to adjust the alpha value directly to the shape. To show it better, let's change the stage color. Now, let's try it again. Change the background color again for the rest of the demonstration. So that was only for one color. Let's say you have a scene or an object which has different HSB values. And you want to adjust the saturation and brightness of all those shades altogether. You can use the SB tool to do that easily. Just make sure that the SB button is darkened, which means that the adjustments will be applied directly to the colors. Another usage of SB tool is you can desaturate the colors so that it will become grayscale. And then you can adjust the brightness this way. However, this technique will get rid of the hue if you made the saturation to zero. So if you adjust the saturation back up, all shades will have the same hue value. Anyway, let's apply the same hues to each shade again.
Now let's say that you have an object in your scene which has transparent shades in it. And you want to adjust the transparency altogether, you can easily do that with the alpha tool. Again, make sure that the A button is darkened. We can also use the A tool for creating shades by layering them up. So we will adjust each shade in each layer with different alpha values. And that's it. Basically, SB and it tools can be used to adjust the color in the color picker tool without affecting the shape colors. It can also be used to adjust the colors of the selected shapes directly, no matter how many the selected shapes are. SB tool can be used to make a grayscale version of the object. A tool can be used to create gradations in shading. So that's the SB and a tool. We hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.